hello and welcome. I am Zafiro. Um, 760,000 point as main on the North American servers. So I've come across a interesting discovery involving the items. So allow me to explain what struck this theory as strange to me. So you'd normally go Essence Reaver, Anamune, and Duskblade, right? Well, my theory indicates that you can use a certain other Spellblade item, or maybe any Spellblade item, together. So, I tested this theory a bit ago, and found that it worked. Now I'm going to show all of you. So, here is the build that I would be running. And it's all coming from items here, so. This is really worth ten times the asking now I know what you're thinking. My dude, this won't work. And I'm here to tell you, my dude, it works. Can I get an itemized receipt? My Allow me to demonstrate. Also, this is a build that I was workshopping. Gives you 137 CDR, thanks to Trinity Force being allowed. Kind of stupid, but I'm sure fellow S mains will get a kick out of it. So let's just fully stack my tier real quick and smack guy way over here, silly. There we go. My boots are not waterproof. So, Fantastic. you might be thinking, there's no way that this actually works, right? Yeah! Well, let me just lower my mana. Ah! 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 Yeah! Now, if you notice, both the Essence Reaver and the Trinity Force effects are on me. I was sitting here wondering to myself, well, it shouldn't work, right? Watch my mana closely. You see? It's giving me mana back. Now you might be thinking it's because you have the auto refresh cooldowns, right? You'd be incorrect. I'm still getting mana back. This is revolutionary. This right here? I'm getting all the mana back I would. Actually, yeah, I'm getting all the mana back that I would. And I know it will say no mana was restored and no damage was dealt, but you look, you see it for yourself. You saw that 89 pop up. I, that only pops up if I gain mana back. Not with a Q. See it? So, this leads me to my next point. We could use Essence Reaver with other Spellblade items. Potentially. Now, once Riot catches wind of this, I guarantee you, it will be fixed. But in the meantime, here's what we can possibly do. It can make hybrid as become a thing. You see? Nice. You can send the bill to my own. So if we go back to here. <laughs> I would be rapid firing cues, but look at that. Nice shot, me. High five. Sure, it's not showing what this is doing but it's showing what this is doing. 
You can see both clearly working in tangent with each other. So, this might, as I would dare say, be the next double tier build. Now, I guarantee you, this will be nerfed by Riot. Or, they could be kind and keep it. But, let's face it, they won't. So, I'm not saying abuse it while you can, but I'm saying abuse it while you can. So, what other Spellblade procs could I use with this then? Since clearly, Lich Bane and Essence Reaver are working in tangent together. Great question. Let's find out. Oh wait, I can't just search it like that. Let's see? So, if we go to all mythics, there is only one other item here that has a spell blade passive. This is really worth ten times and that's Divine Sunderer. Now, this leads me into thinking that all three can work in tangent. Let's find out. Okay, so the mythic one is taking priority over... Lich Bane, really. So, no. We cannot stack three at the same time. But, what I found, any one with Essence Reaver, you can stack it. Because, as you can see, my mana's still g coming back. And Divine Sunderer, is getting that damage. The healing. See it oh so clearly. See? My environment is wet and muddy and probably so, this is something interesting that I do feel we need to explore with Ez. And potentially other champions. I know by making this video and posting it, I am putting these sets of items, the Spellblade items in general, in danger of being nerfed and this being hot fixed. I don't know why this is the way it is, but it is. So, I want you, I would love it if you guys would post thoughts in the comment section. Maybe leave a like on the video if you found this informative, helpful, eye-opening. Because honestly, this, this is something. Like, I think I'm on to something this time around type of deal. Because like with this build right here, see it's clearly there. It's not a bad build. Now, hurts, doesn't it? what's interesting about this build is the fact that you have Trinity Force and Essence Reaver. You have the Mana Restore from Essence Reaver, but the, but the damage and the Mythic from Trinity Force here, which I think would be a better buy at this point than Duskblade instead. Because... With Duskblade, as everyone knows, allow me to for it real quick. And yes, these are all my builds. Sure, you get way less AD. You don't get the Night Stalker passive. But what you do get in exchange is health and attack speed. And that passive right there. Plus, you get the extra stats in speed, ability, haste, and attack damage. So, I do believe that this is a build that we want to use. Just these three items right here in tangent. You can replace these two with whatever you... Well, these three with whatever you want. 
I don't care. Know your environment. But I honestly believe I'm on to something with this build right here. This three core item build. So, I don't know. I, again, I want your thoughts. So, slap that like button, type me up a comment, and we'll see where this uh, conversation and Fury Craft for Ezreal takes us. So, I'll see you all later. I do stream on Twitch. And I plan to stream a lot more. Just got to bear with me here. So, see you all later. And have fun.